Welcome to System View. In this very first tutorial, we're going to build a schematic and simulate and make sure that you know where stuff is laid out on the screen in order to get started quickly with System View. So let's get started. On the left hand side of the screen is the workspace tree. This has schematics and plots, all your data and simulation controllers, everything that you have made that saves with the workspace out in the file system is in the workspace tree as an object. Across the top are toolbar buttons and across the bottom are status windows and interactive windows. Now there's two ways to get the part selector up in order that you can place parts on the schematic. One is under view part selector. And here you can see that I have a number of parts that I can scroll through. There's actually too many to remember so if I want to put a sine wave down I can do a string search and look for the sine wave. Another way to do it is to hover over the tab. Now notice if I mouse over, I can open the window, put my sync down, and the part selector goes away. To wire these together, uh, I can zoom with the mouse wheel, the center mouse wheel, and I can touch the pins, overlap them, and draw them apart. Notice that the pin numbers are uh, both at node 1. If I hover over the pin with my mouse, notice the cursor change, I click down, drag, and release, and connect the pins. And there's also, um, you can number and name the nodes, and you can actually set up arrays of wires, which are buses. We won't cover that in this tutorial. If I double click and look at the reference designator and change it to my sync, it doesn't have to be numeric. I can rename this so that when I simulate this collects the data and the data appearing at this node shows up as my sync. So let's go to the analysis controller for data flow. I have the analysis controller name which is um, my DF controller and it's choosing which schematic it wants to simulate and there's only one, it's, it's design one and it will assign me a data set but I can also put um, my first data set. And you want to keep the naming straight so that when you have multiple analyses um, you can you know which data goes with, with which analysis. I can set up the start and stop time and notice that some of these parameters are linked and I'm just going to uh, accept the defaults for now. So when I simulate it adds a data set to the workspace tree and there is my sync and you can see for each time point that my sync has a value. Now there's actually a couple of ways to plot data. Um, one is to right click from the data set and say add to a table or add to a graph. If I say that I've got my my whole plot. In fact, let me just add some more points because we want that to be a better a better sine wave. I'm going to delete that um, plot and show you another way to do a plot and that's add graph and it looks in the data set uh, for all the data that's available and I pick what I want to do with it first. I want a time waveform and it s looks at all the data in the data set that fits the description of the kind of data necessary to do that. Choose my sync, set up the X and Y axes and the plot colors and so forth and that's a, a second way to plot. Now notice where's my schematic? How do I get my schematic back? One of the basic window operations is to unmaximize that window. So if I um, tile all these windows, I can see them all at the same time. If I maximize one, you can see that it takes over and I unmaximize it that way. That's a very common point for new beginners. The last point I want to show you is under Help Topics and Index. If I get the, the helps uh, up under Tutorials, there's several hundred pages of tutorials on, on a variety of other topics. And so I encourage you to look through these tutorials. And actually, um, c these are available in ebook format. You can look at it at your Kindle or your um, iPad. The last thing I want to point out is always save your work. That's it. If you want to see more of these videos, go to the URL that's on your screen. And best of luck in your next system level design.